Hello all. This video is going to be on uh, Arch Linux and creating a uh, custom repository. Um, you can use it uh, just in case you have to reinstall or uh, it's primarily used when you use the Arch ISO to build a custom image. So you, uh, first of all, just you can create a, um, a skeleton layout directory. Um, so just open your home folder. And you can have it in your home folder, for example. So just create folder and call it anything you want. Uh, say custom repo. Create. Now I'll open that folder. And just uh, to be on the safe side, we'll create two additional folders. One is going to be I686. Uh, and the other one is going to be for 64-bit. And that's going to be uh, x86 underscore 64 create. All right, let's uh, grab something from the Arch Linux user repository because this is primarily what it's uh, you want to use it for. So let's get in Grandpa Thunar. Instead of using Yowart, we'll just uh, download the tarball and save it to our if it's downloads folder and save it to there or wherever and we'll go to our home folder again and go to downloads open it with their existing archive manager drag out drag the folder out open the folder and then open terminal here and just type in make pkg dash small s and enter all right, as you can see, it's uh, finished uh, making the package, and uh, most of the time you can just take uh, the uh, this package here, the tar dot xzz, and copy it or move it to your custom repo 64-bit. So we'll just uh, throw it in here. Okay. So I open a terminal inside the, uh, I'll close this old one, inside your custom repo and type in repo dash add custom and it's going to be the same name repo dot uh, db dot t a r dot g, dot g z z and then you press start typing the name of the package and press tab you can see it's been now added to our custom repo database. Now if you want to just add that uh, to your um, existing uh, pacman config file, you just do a sudo leafpad etsy pacman conf conf and go down to the bottom and where it has custom just uh, uncomment the square bracket and whatever you called it like we call it in this example it's custom repo uncomment the sig level uncomment the server and replace it with your username and where it is so it's in my home folder so custom repo and then another slash a dollar sign art not a dollar yes dollar sign sorry arch and Make sure that everything's correct and control S save, control Q quit. So let's see if that'll pick it up. Uh, so we'll do a pseudo pacman dash S Y Y. And it did. Custom repo. All right. So that's how we. Uh, would use that in our Arch Linux uh, ISO build. So you would add that to uh, your live CD that we were talking about before and this Pac-Man config file. From here on in, um, when you use your uh, building your live uh, disk, uh, whenever you go to your packages, uh, quit that, edit as root, packages uh, dot both file is uh, you just add in the the name of the uh, package, but just be careful. So we'll go to our custom repo, 
Um, we don't want the full uh, dot the full uh, name. All we want is n grandpa dash sunar in there. Okay, so we'll add that in. All right, so n grandpa dash sunar and save and quit. Okay, so that's the, basically what you do. And if you want to remove it, it's a repo. You open a terminal repo dash remove and then same thing custom and dot uh, db dot tar dot gzz and grandpa and this time you take out the last part as well so i'll just add a few more packages and uh you can see how it uh jives with our uh Arch Linux uh, ISO. All right, so uh, after the ISO was finished building, I uh, threw this into a virtual box, and we can test out some of the uh, extras we added. Let's try out speed test. Test. Nope, it's speed test. Dash C L I. Dash dash simple. Let's see if that responds. Yes, it is. All right, so that's it. Um, it's uh, how to add a custom repo, uh, either in your existing Arch Linux installation or and or uh, for your building your Arch custom Arch uh, Linux using Arch ISO. Okay, so uh, that's it for this one, and thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.